Hey, 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 Stubby here. And I have risked all of the storage I have. Oh my god. A little scared. Let's go! Alright everybody, so in between episodes, I did a little bit, not too much, I actually have not been feeling too good. Uh, combined all of my storage down in this wonderful area, and set up these drawers which I may or may not use, but I put them there, so I can have this area a little bit cleaner. I haven't done the fence or the greenhouse yet, Just my body wasn't up to it. I'm starting to feel better, and I really hope you guys are having a good day as well. Uh, projects I have on my plate, so you guys are keeping up with me, uh, is the greenhouse, uh, which I have a couple ideas in mind now, thanks to some talks I've had with some people, and fixing the storage, making my tinker's room an official room, and I think I'm actually going to change out the front of this, just to give it a little bit more decorative feel. Uh, not quite sure the plan for it yet, but I, I, I want more than this block. It's like this has a little bit of a design to it, and that's a square. So that's going to change. So today, what do we want to do today, guys? Well, I was looking, and we are down to Tinks, which is really just, uh, you know, knocking out a few steps that have some time consuming components to them. So I'll probably just do that off camera in between the next few episodes. Um, I did notice that right here there's actually an automation of Appendix A. Where they give you actually ideas on how to use XNet to set up all these different automation techniques. So that's going to be something that you know I'm not too, uh, too familiar with XNet. I've seen it. I've used it like once or twice. So hey, we're going to do all those. But not yet. Today... We're going to do digital. I have used AE2. I have successfully used it a few times. I personally am a refined storage fan. But we're going to use AE2. And we're going to rock it. So the ME system in the outpost is great, but really limited in terms of how much you can use it right now due to the limited number and size of storage drives available. Unfortunately, we didn't see you needing anything larger, and there's no way to get more to you in the short time available before our corner of the galaxy implodes over here. What we can do, however, is try and get you to the point where you will be able to make more yourself. This is a risky process, however, and you're essentially going to have to rip it apart before you can build it back up again. Proceed with caution. Let's start by making sure you have the minimum requirements at hand. So... You're going to need either a Flux Crystal or a Pure, pure Flux Crystal. If you don't have either yet, here's how you get one. Flux, Charged Certus Quartz. Uh, so, man, we are not ready for this, guys. Haha! <laughs> Alright. Flux Dust by saving dust with a diamond mesh or better. And... I've used those before. Do I have the stuff to build that? Wait. I feel like I already have that. Ha! Ah! Alright. See what happens when I read? Alright, so create a fluke seed as above, or receive crush sky stone using an emerald mesh or higher. Put the fluke seed into... So we want some crushed sky stone. So to get the crushed sky stone, we're going to go to our happy little storage area. We're going to find the sky stone. Where are you at? Boom. Boom. 
as you can see, we've, we've obtained a little bit of it. That's into lava, okay. Hammer that into crushed sky stone, and we're going to get the... Cool. All right. Easy day. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Look at that. We're getting it. Man, it's just not even making a dent. Ah, uh, that is beautiful. All right, so we got a stack. We'll get to two stacks, and then we'll throw them in. Actually, we'll just go throw them in now. I'm sitting there thinking I have to manually hammer it, but I don't. Oh, let's do the diamond hammer. Let's add those in because it'll speed it up. And have an abundance of diamonds. All right, we're gonna get through this. Telling you, I am not 100% today, and I am hoping you guys can bear with me through the fun and adventure of this. That'll speed that one up. That'll speed that one up. Look at that. Going. This room is definitely going to need some love. I like that we finally. Finally got to the club strobes. <laughs> All right, one more. There you go. That'll give us four stacks worth. All right, so we are going to do the pure fear fluix crystal. Uh, we're going to get the seeds by combining either fluix dust and sand or the fluix seed. And I think that was Lewix Seed. Yep. Lewix Seeds. So this one we're going to turn around and put into the Enrichment Chamber. Ta-da! And that's going to get us those. We're going to need two sticky pistons. Killing slime, making dough, creating albumin. What? We are not prepared. Oh my goodness. All right. Slime. How do we get slime? Well, I can't do that. I can't do that. All right. It does have the coagulated blood. I could... Painfully rock that one again. Slime. Oh, you can get slime. Albumin, which is DNA. Oh my goodness. That seems like more than I want to do. Maple syrup needs a maple sapling. syrup from my maple sapling which any sapling and eight maple syrup okay so we could rock that one I don't have that set up yet though so that'll be a bit of a pain I have the dough which is wheat flour and what oh my goodness everything's in here created again I like how I'm like, oh, we're probably just going to get rid of the create because I'm not using it.
Got most of the stuff. Alright, so we need to... I haven't seen any slime spawn. That's the... Alright. Let's do the maple syrup. Slime... That's going to be the fastest way for us, to be honest. Sugar and sugar cane. Alright. Oh, wait. I had one more sword chest. That was in this one, those and those. No. Those. Go ahead and take half of them out for now. And we're going to want to do the saplings. was the maple I think we're just gonna end up making this this bad boy honestly it's really not that hard I even have everything already That. Is that a crafting table? Yes, it was. I'm gonna need you. Basin. We're gonna need those. I'm gonna need the Tinker's hammer. Need plates of the iron kind. Tinker hammer. Actually, I think I can cast it too. What I could do is if I went and got. Oh, they don't have the casting one. Okay. Well, they tricked me. And by that, I mean it was completely my fault. But I'm going to blame them. I need two small gears and a side casing. <laughs> I already had the base. What? I made. Oh, yep. No, I made one when I thought that's how I made the grass. That's right. I remember that adventure. Grab the rest of the gears. Do I have a gearbox readily available? Should. Unless it's over in my room that I can go destroy real quick. Alright, let's go destroy room. Uh, 
Oh, look at this fish. This is why I don't really grow food. I haven't needed it. My my needs are met by the fishes. Not the ideal building plan, but this is definitely going to be a temporary solution. And of course, I forgot to go get the eight saplings. I'm going to want to shift it up. And the basin. I feel like that's not going to be fast enough, actually, so let's do this. Because it can glitch through the floors. That. 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 Not at enough speed. I see how it is. Let's go make another gear. Er, cog. Four buttons and some wood. Let's go do it. That is doing wonderful. We'll get the saplings while we're at it. And the maple. And that would be the maple syrup. And there is eight and a sapling. Right. That one, and we'll do one, two saplings. We're gonna need slime from three saplings. Boom, slime. Wait, what? Now 
I'm very confused. Go sleep and try it again, I guess. Let me in the house. Got them all back, and then I made him into slime. So let's look at this. That. Any sapling. Maple syrup. I'm incredibly confused right now. I'm going to try this one more time, and then I'm going to cry and give up. One sugar. What other ways can I make this just in case? No? No. Oh. Oops. Let's not even risk it. Let's just do this. One of those. And... Ta-da! Look, I did it. I am a ding-dong. There you go. So that's growing our saplings. We've got the slime. We need the redstone and the wood and cobble. Like that. Part that I always get backwards. Aha, we did it. All right, let's make an inscriber. Inscriber. Okay, now that was the easy bit, but you should know you have now have everything you need to make your first inscriber. This is a tool that will be used to create new processors using a combination of energy, raw materials, and an appropriate inscriber press. Kind of like a template. The problem is that you don't have any of the required inscriber presses, and we certainly did not ship any as part of the Outpost Usual Kit. So we're going to have to make some. Yet again, the Science Division says they have a plan. The next step is gathering up a few more raw materials, one for each kind of inscriber press you're going to need. All right, so let's make this inscriber, which is pretty simple, actually. Boom. We're inscribing. All right, so we need a block of quartz. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, my inventory is all jacked up. Why not? I'm not throwing stuff in a random thing again, I swear, guys. I swear. I would never. Alright, so we need a block of quartz, a block of gold, a block of diamond, and a block of certus quartz. This one. 
Might as well that one run, we'll go get the cold and the diamond. Let these run. And while we're looking at that, we're going to go, oh yeah, all right. I don't think there's anything we need in here. Nothing that we can't create. Maybe take these blocks out because they're a little time consuming. Those ones. Ah, well, I needed eight. Maple fruit log. Maple. So this will give me the log. Oh, this actually gets you four things. So. block of this is eight as well. Cool. Oh, we're just going to let those run back in. Doesn't hurt. We have apparently all those this as well. Okay. Sorry, right, we're going pure. We are purists here in this. Alright. At this point, make sure you have a working molecular recycler. Are you working? Yes. A working quantum transmutation chamber. Check. A block of each. Check. By continuing with the survival guide, you are confirming that you understand the risks. You might not have digital storage at the end of this if you mess up. And absolutely absolve whatever is left of the cubic core. Which is probably nothing by the time you do this. Of any negligence or wrongdoing, whether present, future, or past. Please agree to this. Grab a pickaxe and let's get this done. Now might be a good time to take anything out of your ME system you don't want to wrestling. Alright. So we have the recycler. We have the transmutation chamber. We have the quartz, diamond, gold, and quartz. They are off of the hook. So we are going to remove our current storage disk and then pick up the drive. There, you and there, you nope. Guys. Cook some of that. Give a little room. Clean up the excess. Put that right there. And we are also going to risky part of carefully remove the ME crafting terminal. Got it. Alright. Take your ME drive, kiss it goodbye, and feed it into the molecular recycler. Goodbye. While we're waiting on that, we're also going to do the terminal should be a regular ME terminal and calculation processor all right 
completed those quests. Put the engineering processor you obtained and a block of diamond into the transmutation chamber. Note, once you have one press, you can duplicate it in an inscriber using a block of iron. Okay. So we need the engineering processor and the block of diamond. Then we are going to do the ME terminal block of gold and all right. So we are at a stopping point for this episode, but I am going to try to push through if I can through these episodes. So hopefully I can, I got the time I'm feeling a little better today. And if I can't, we'll do it together. Look forward to seeing you guys on the next episode. Did the wrong one already. I'm already messed it up. Emmy terminal. Calculation processor. Oh, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Yep. That goes in there. And then this one is the calculation processor and block of Certus quartz. All right, got some sleep. I'm going to take off now. You guys have a great day. Stubby out.